In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can make an animating video pop-up in your WordPress website by using Elementor. Here when you click on this video play button, you can see this awesome spreading animation. And here for this video, you can also see this fully customized video player where you can change its color and all the other options. And it looks much better than the default video player. You can easily add this kind of pop-up inside your page and make it much more creative. So, without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Okay, before starting, I want to say that we are going to build our this advanced video pop-up by using the Elementor Pro. So, if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Now, here I will start everything from scratch. But if you want, you can also get this video pop-up as a ready-made template from my template shop. And here as a bonus, I will also give you the YouTube and Vimeo version of this template. So if you want to use any YouTube or Vimeo video with this pop-up, you can also do that. So after downloading this template, here you will get a zip file like this. So you just need to unzip this. And inside this, you will get both the container and non-container version. So if you are using the new Flexbox container, you can use this. Or if you are using the old Elementor version, you can also use these templates. So as I am using the Elementor container, so from here, as example, I want to choose the YouTube. And what I need to do, I need to go to this template upload option. And from here, let's drag this JSON file. And here is this one. So let's insert this. Let's click on update. And if we see it from our preview and click on this, you can see it's perfectly working and at the bottom here we can see this custom video player and this video is basically an YouTube video so if we click on this YouTube icon from here we can see it on the YouTube so instead of this if you also want to use any other YouTube video you can also use that on here you can also change this player control color so if you go to our editor and open this navigator from this widget here we can see the option for changing the color so instead of this if we make it to yellow we can see this yellow color here okay so if you also want to know more about how we can change the content and all other things here is also an instruction.pdf file so you can also check that out now here, if you don't want to get this ready-made template, you can also start everything from scratch. So let's delete all the content. And here inside this page, first of all, I want to take a container and inside that we will place our this button. So for this, let's add a divider widget. And I want to give it a height and width from the style, make its height to 80 pixel and also give the same width. 80 pixel and also remove this gap at the top and bottom then i want to make it to rounded corner so from the border make the border radius to 100 percent okay but we cannot see that border radius so what we need to do we need to go to the style and i don't want to use that color from here so let's make it to fully transparent and go to this background option from this color option i want to set that color so if I make it to a pink color, okay, now we can see it perfectly. After that, here I also want to add a play icon inside the circle. So I will do that by using this custom CSS. Let's paste this code and now we can see that. Here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all of the code snippet to my website and also give that website link to my description. So from here, you just need to copy and paste that code. Okay, now inside this code, you can see this expanding color option, which is basically the color of our this bottom box shadow. I have named this to this expanding color because if I go to this preview and click on this button, here if we look carefully, you can see this box shadow is converting to our this video background. So if you want, you can also change that color from here. Okay, now after that here, I also want to add some text. But before that, for this container, I want to make it to full height. So make it to 100 VH. And to place the button on the center, make it just if a content and the align items to the center. Okay, then let's go to here and drag this heading widget under here. Change this text. 
from the style let's also change its color and also make some changes on the typography here as we used some letter spacing so if you look closely on the right side you can see a little bit of gap so to get rid of this we can use some negative margin from its right side okay now that looks perfect now here let's make our pop-up so to create that we will not use the default pop-up option of the elementor because with that we cannot create our expanding animation so i will take an container under here and we'll make that our pop-up so first of all i want to make it to full height inside that we will place our this video and if we go to our this preview here you can see as we are creating this custom video player so we cannot also use this default video widget so instead of this we will use an html widget inside that and paste some code for this video and now we can see the custom video player inside that now inside this code on here we can see an url of this video so instead of this video if you want to use another one you just need to go to your media library and here from your computer you can upload that video let's click on this video file and from here copy this video url and if we paste it to here okay now we can see that video on here and under here you can also see some other option like this ui color the font inside this control and also this control panel size all of these things now here let's just reduce this video and i want to go back to this container and from here let's make it just a content to the center to place the video on the center after that here on this corner i also want to add a close icon so for this from here let's drag and container right after this video and let's give it a very small width so make it to full width and give the width to 50 pixel from the advance let's make its position to the absolute from the right make it to 50 pixel and from the top make it to 65 okay so now inside this i want to place two divider widget to make this close icon so let's go to here and drag this divider inside that go to the style let's increase its weight to 2 also remove its gap and from this transform option i want to rotate it to 45 degree okay and i want to go to the navigator view so from here we can see this divider on here i just want to duplicate this and for this instead of the 45 degree i want to make it the opposite of that which is minus 45 but here i want to pull this at the top so from here let's give some negative margin now that looks perfect so we have built both our this pop-up and this button so right now i want to make the connection between these two so for that i want to make this containers position to the fixed from the advanced tab let's make it to fixed and also let's adjust the z index so for our first container i want to make it to 100 and for our this pop-up container let's make it to 101 so we have give these two container a higher z index to make sure this will be always above any of our other elements okay then our next step is to add some classes with some of our elements so first with our this divider which is our play button with this one i want to add the class v dash play then with this container let's add the class v dash pop-up also with this html tag which is basically our this video player so with this one let's add the class v dash video and lastly with this close icon container add the class v dash close and after that let's again go to this pop-up container and i want to lastly add some custom css on here let's save this and if we go to our preview now if we click on this we can see our this beautiful pop-up is perfectly working and when i click on this close button or anywhere outside of this pop-up this will be also disappears so here at the corner you can see this icon is pretty close from the top it looks like that because of this top admin bar but if you see it from a logged out tab you can see it properly okay so right now instead of this black color i want to make it to white so go to this divider settings 
and make it to this white color and also do the same for this one okay now this looks good so right now i also want to check this for our other devices so if i reduce the screen size here we need to add some padding on the left and right so go to here and for our this pop-up container we need to add some padding on the left and right okay now that looks good so let's also check this for our tablet it's already looks good we don't need to do anything now let's check it on the mobile okay for our mobile we have some issues with this close icon and we also need to fix the spacing on both sides so go to again here and go to this responsive mobile option from this container of this close icon we need to reduce its width make it to 40 pixel and also make it closer to the corner so i also want to change these top and right values and for this pop-up container let's also reduce the padding now it also perfectly working on our mobile devices so that's how you can create this cool video pop-up in elementor if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video